now Take a step outside and seize the day now Set aside your worries, it's okay now The sun is here to stay Blue skies Feel the wind beneath you as you fly Hey guys, so I know I did a nursery tour video, but I wanted to do a quick video on how I've organized the nursery. A little bit more of a look into like the drawers, changing table, closet, um, and how I plan on being ready for the baby. So let's go. Okay, you guys, so we are in the nursery. Um, you guys, if you haven't already seen my nursery tour video, definitely check that out. But here on top of the changing table, I actually have a caddy I need to bring up here, but I have um, my wipes, which I haven't opened yet, and the hatch baby rest, and then our um, baby monitor is gonna go on there as well. I have our diaper pail over here, which I probably need to set up actually. And then I have a, our little hamper on the left hand side um, because my husband did not want to be going over there for when, he, when we have exploded diapers. Um, then in this top drawer, this is um, the Ikea Hemna's dresser. Um, it's in gray because I have this furniture in other parts of my house and I wanted to be able to use it all either in our son or daughter's bedroom in the future. Um, and I didn't want to purchase just a tiny changing table also wasn't interested in the sets because I loved this metal crib from Million Dollar Baby. So I went with a dresser so we can reuse it in other places. This is the top drawer. So obviously like this is our baby monitor. It's going over there on the dresser. Um, so that won't be there. We can ignore that. Um, but I have a bunch of newborn diapers here in the back. I basically have extra unopened things. Um, over here, I have kind of our dirty, messy things in a plastic bin. So I can just pop this out and wash it. These organizers are all from Ikea. They come and they expand and fit in the drawers. Um, I have diaper cream. I have other diaper cream, which I'm gonna put in the diaper bag when I am done using it at the hospital. I have Aquaphor. Um, and then I have extra stuff in the back and free samples. I do have some passies and a Web and Nub here. Um, those are all just kind of thrown in there for now. These are burp claws that I made. I didn't want to pay money for burp claws <laughs> because they like cost 30 bucks for a pack of flannel burp claws from Burt's Bees, so I made my own. Um, these have Bambi and Thumper on them, but they're literally just flannel and I stitched um, them together and they go on your shoulder. So yeah, burp claws, um, whatever, just like basically utility rags. So burp claws are here, and then I have hats. This is all newborn and zero to three sizing. So these are all his hats. Um, these are newborn onesies, all rolled back. These are newborn sleepers, all rolled back. These are zero to three sleepers, and then I have zero to three onesies down below because I had too many. These are his larger socks um, and then these are newborn size like newborn zero to three I would say socks. So then moving on to the second drawer. Second drawer I have pants for him. Um, if my camera wants to focus I have his pants all rolled up here so we can see. Um, I went so like Marie Kondo on this kind of. I have to figure out when I get my caddy up here I'll put my all-purpose wipes up on the top so they're easily accessible. But then I have um, more zero to three sleepers, larger socks, um, and swaddles. This is all swaddles. This is my nested bean swaddle, which I really love. Um, if you guys haven't checked out my like newborn essentials video or blog post, I talk about this. It's actually a weighted swaddle which I think from a mental health standpoint is it's like a weighted blanket for babies basically it's so great has adjustable sizing for newborns through I think six months so yeah and then these are some regular swaddles I made some of these bought some of them and got some as presents there are um, bibs over here like for um, spit up and then this is all baby bath time again in a plastic bin that's easy to get out take with us to the shower if we need I have his 
hooded towels, um, and I have all of his little washcloths. These are all Burt's Bees, and you can tell I like my hand is nasty tan right now, so I apologize for that. Then, oh, pregnant woman bending. Um, this is kind of my drawer of extra and large sizes. So these, I believe, are those. I actually don't know what size those are. Those are zero to three, or maybe they're like three to, they can't be three to six. I don't know what size those are, but they're all onesies. I think they must be zero to three. Um, those are zero to three. Those are extra newborn diapers. This is um, a three to six sleeper from Soli Baby. Um, I have bamboo bees. I have the bamboo bees reusables as well, but those are mostly for the hospital. I have um, things for the bath noise canceling headphones, extra swaddles, extra crib sheets, all of that. So basically all my extras are down there. Then we'll go over here. I have, um, I have some random stuff stored under the crib, but it's like, what do I have under there? I have large sizes of things. I have extra um, different size flanges for my breast pump. Um, over here I have I want to turn one of these into a baby shoe bin, but this is baby hats for right now. These are baby toys, and these are more baby toys down here. So yeah, all toys. Toys, 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 and books. And then over here, we have the closet. So that's my diaper bag and my sleep sheep, and then the beautiful tree outside our window, um, and then the closet. So we have a really old house. Um, as you can see from our cool doors and our teeny closets this is our house um i do have my breast pump up here because i know i'm going to be using it all the time in our rocker so the breast pump and its accessories are up there ready to go um and then i have all of his clothes basically his sleepers and his onesies that i know he's going to wear all the time are over in the drawer S drawers so when we're changing him we're like ready to roll with that. The nicer outfits, like the outfits in general, the onesies that go with other things, um, some of the sleep sacks, stuff like that is all in here. So I do have it organized by size. If you guys can see, um, there are little like size separators. I just bought these at Bye Bye Baby and they cost, I think like $3. Um, I'm super out of breath because pregnancy. But then we also have this awesome little shoe I have a shoe caddy, if you guys can see it, um, and I have his baby shoes kind of all the way down there. Most of them were made by my mom at this point, but um, yeah, so he has some sleep dresses, I guess, sleep suits, and then uh, little onesies and clothes and all kinds of stuff. So cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is so, this stuff is so pretty. This is... Um, who is this? Kate, Kate Quinn? Kate Quinn. Yeah, Kate Quinn. It's like organic bamboo, organic cotton. This is like a little dino hoodie. Love it. So these are all um, of his clothes. And then, yeah, they just go up in size. Um, and I have washed all of those already. So they're ready to go for him. And then down here, I actually got this at a thrift store. It's like so Patagonia-esque. I love it. Um, but yeah, so then those are his clothes. I am storing our boppy, um, extra blankets, extra boxes down there. And then again, like all the shoes are kind of over here in this, um, caddy. So yeah, there's like baby booties, shoes all the way down. Super dark. But then I have extra boxes of diapers in the back. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much that. I am in the process right now of building a downstairs changing table, but unfortunately I got put on bed rest, so I couldn't finish it. Um, so it's currently on hold. Hopefully my husband will get it done before the baby gets here. Um, I was building a downstairs changing table because we are upstairs right now, and I didn't want to have to run upstairs every single time he has a dirty diaper. So I was building a downstairs one. I do have a separate caddy um, and other stuff down there as well, like another little hamper set up and whatnot. But yeah, that's pretty much the nursery organization. Um, if you haven't checked out the tour, check it out. If you have questions or suggestions about organization, let me know. But um, I think we are pretty much all set and ready to go. I yeah, are you checking out Drew's room? Tomorrow. 
Where are you going, Daze? Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button because baby is coming soon. Give it a thumbs up, tap the little bell for notifications, and drop me a comment in the section below about something you want me to make a video about or something you want to know, um, whatever. I would love to connect with you guys more here and on Instagram if you follow me. Um, the handle is up in one of these corners. I don't know which one, but I will talk to you guys soon in my next video and maybe we'll have a baby. We'll see. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. Set aside your worries, it's okay now.